All right, looking at section 8.6, we're going to look at different types of radical terms. Adding and subtracting radicals, we're going to do products of multiple radicals. Rationalizing denominators, but there'll be two terms instead of the one like you saw in the last video. And then we're going to look at radicals with different roots, how we can multiply and divide those. So adding and subtracting radicals is the same thing as combined like terms. The number one thing you have to remember about combining like radicals is that they have to be in their simplified form. If you look at your rules for combining like terms, number one, all the variables must be the same and the powers on the variables must be the same. So if I wanted to combine like terms down here, my 3x plus my 12x, those are like terms, they become 15x. 5y minus the 2y becomes a positive 3y. My constant negative 3 plus my 7 is a positive 4. So how do these rules compare to combine like radicals? My variables must be the same for combined like terms. My radicands, that's the value on the inside or the expression inside the radicals, must be the same. What are the powers on your variables? It's going to be the roots of the radicands must be the same. So down here, I have four square root symbols. They all have the same root, but notice all of the inside numbers are different. I can't combine them together. So here's where it says you have to write it in simplified form. So 2 times the square root of 3. I can't get any simpler than just the square root of 3, and I can't get any simpler than the square root of 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, look, the 3 and the 5 must be leftovers to the 48 and the 180. Well, 48 is not divisible by 5, so I'm thinking the 3 here. So I take the 48, divide it by 3, it's 16. Okay, 16, square root of 16 is going to be a 4 with the square root of 3 left over. 180 divided by 5 is 36. Great, the square root of 36 will be 6. So this radical becomes 6, square root of 36 is 6, with the 5 left over. Drop down plus 2 square root of 3, drop down minus 3 square root of 5. Square root of 16 is 4, square root of 3 left over inside the square root. Now, these two terms here are alike. 6 times the square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 5. The square root of 5s are the same, so combine the two coefficients. 6 minus 3 is 3. 3 square root of 5. Positive 2 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3. Square root of 3s are the same. Add the 2 and the 4 together to get 6 square root of 3. All right, more examples. Cube root, cube root, and here we have a square root. So just by identifying your roots first, no one's going to be able to combine with this one. So we want to break these down. So 54 is the... 27 times 2, and we've seen that 27 is 3 to the third, so we're going to simplify out the 3. The cube root of 3 cubed will be 3 square root of, or excuse me, cube root of 2. My 16 is going to be 8 times 2. 8 is 2 to the third, so that we're going to simplify out. So 3 times the cube root of 2, that 2 is left over plus factor out the 2, plus 2 cube root of that 2 left over, minus my 2 square root of 2. Oh, I see what the author is trying to do. He's trying to fool us and say, oh, look, there's 2's inside of all the radical symbols. So you can combine them all together. No, you can only combine the like cube root radicals. So 3 plus 2 is 5. We'll keep the same cube root of 2. And then we bring down the minus 2 times the square root of 2. These are not like radicals. Next example here, 5 square root of 3x plus 7x square root of 2. So far, everything's looking good. Minus 3x square root of 2 plus 3, whoops, 12 can be broken down. So that's 4 times 3, or 2 squared, which can come out to the front, multiply to the 3. 
that's going to be 6 square root of 3x. Okay, identify like terms. Square root of 3x, square root of 3x. 5 plus 6, 11 square root of 3x. Here we have 7, then x square root of 2, and another x square root of 2, so 7 minus 3 is 4x square root of 2. So there it's simplified. Cannot combine these two together. They're not the same on the inside. Next example, holy cow, a lot of things to simplify here. So breaking down the first one, cube root gets into root. 3 goes into 4 once with 1x left over. 3 goes into 8 twice with 2 left over. So this is my leftover on that cube root. The next term, 6x. Okay, we can break down the 16 as 2 to the 4th. And then we have y to the 5th. So we're going to be able to take out a 2, because that's 8 times 2. The cube root of 8 is 2 times the 6, 12. 3 goes into 5 once with the y, with the y squared left over. Okay, these are not like terms so far. x, y squared, x, y to the 1st. 2xy squared, 2y squared, missing an x. Then we have the cube root of 2x to the 7th. 3 goes into 7 twice. So we'll bring out an x squared with 1x left over again. None of these are like terms or like radicals. So that's my simplified final answer for this one right here.